back with another edition of The Coaches Show. Dan Gardella here with you as we get ready for week two of the Sacred Heart football season. Joining me is the head coach of the Pioneers, Mark Nofri. Coach, coming off of a 21-0 win over Bucknell, what did you like about your team in week one? Um, I like the fact that uh, we pitched the shutout on defense and uh, we were moving the ball up and down the field. You know, we had 455 yards of offense. We had 75 plays. Um, you know, that's always positive to see. Uh, I would have liked, you know, a couple more scores to cash in a little bit, you know. You know, I'm happy that the kids played hard. Um, they were disciplined uh, for our first game out. You know, there was only two penalties. Um, they played really hard and, and they moved the ball and they did exactly what I expected them to do. Had a great crowd at Campus Field on Saturday night as well. One of the first full capacity crowds you guys have had in around a year and a half. What were those emotions like for you and your team when you first came out of the locker room? Yeah, there, there's nothing better than coming out of the tunnel and, uh, you know, six o'clock game and you see uh, the places like, you know, just overflowing with people and to see a red and white and uh, the kids love it. You know, the coaches love it. it you know, it gave the campus that uh, we're back to some type of normalcy. On Saturday, your team improved to 10 and 0 in home openers as since you've been the head coach. What is it about home openers? I, I that don't know. I didn't. I, I didn't even know that stat to be honest with you. Um, I don't know. I, I think our kids just like being at home and uh, first game of the year. You know, everybody's pretty, uh, pretty pumped up and ready to go and ready to play. And uh, you know, playing at home their first game uh, when you got that kind of crowd that we had uh, on Saturday night. I mean, what more do you expect for you know a great college atmosphere? You take on Brian. It's a rivalry game for you guys. It's only the second week of the year, and you're playing those games that matter the most to you. Talk about the significance of playing Northeast Conference football in week two of the season. You know, we, we, we started speaking about it Saturday night after the game. You know, um, Bryant is obviously a, a big rival for us, um, pretty much in all sports, not just football. And they're a good football team. You know, you watch them on film. They, Chris has done a great job building that program to the way he wants to build it. Um, they're physical. They're tough. Um, we're going to have our hands full. And, and we need to understand that this is a league game. This isn't a non-league game. Um, like I told the kids the other day on September 4th at 6.05 when we kicked off, there's no, you know, reset it, do it again. Like it's go time and, and you got to cash in and make sure you're locked in for 60 minutes. So my team will be prepared to go up there. Now we have to go up there and play, you know, good Sacred Heart football um, against a very good Bryant team and uh, we should be ready to roll. Pioneers take on Bryant this Saturday up in Rhode Island. Pioneers will be looking to make it two straight to open the 2021 fall season. Coach Nofrey, thanks so much for joining thanks me. Thanks for having me. We continue with this edition of The Coaches Show. We're joined by the head coach of the Sacred Heart Women's Volleyball team, Rob Machen. Coach, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. So you already have a handful of games already in the books this year. What do you like about your team so far? We're about halfway through the preseason. We're at 500. Um, you kind of schedule hoping to be at least 500. You don't want to schedule too easy, too tough. But um, I think we left a couple on the table. We're actually a little a little stronger than I thought, um, but left a couple of matches on the table, I think. You are a coach that is known to challenge your team, like you like you said in, in the preseason, to get you ready for Northeast yeah. Conference play. I know you, this year you, you went to Boston College mm -hmm. for an invitational, you hosted an invitational at Sacred Heart this coming weekend. Yeah. What about those challenges prepare your team the most? We're, we're, very, um, we're a very strong program. Uh, most years we're at least in the conversation about conference championship. Um, this year, I think we're picked number one. Uh, if you win the conference championship, you end up in the NCAA tournament and we usually get a pretty tough team there. So we want to make sure we're prepared playing against the strongest opponents we can so that the first time we see a team like a Wisconsin or Nebraska, that level of athleticism is in the tournament. Now, after winning the Northeast Conference in 2019, you had a chance. You were very successful in the 2020 season, yeah. but unfortunately COVID took away your opportunity to defend that title. How do you think that challenge last year helps the players that return this year for this upcoming season. That was a tough end of the season. We were playing very well, coming together as a team. Um, having the not opportunity to play in the conference championship was tough, but it also left the women feeling like they had unfinished business. So they really worked hard over the summer, came in in great shape, and uh, are really excited about getting back into conference play. What did you learn most about yourself last year 
coaching through all those challenges with the postponements, not knowing when your season was going to start, things like that. I learned flexibility, <laughs> you know, and uh, also how wonderfully responsive the women were. Whatever I asked them to do, we would have different restrictions put on, restrictions lifted, you know, pods, no pods, and whatever we asked, whatever we designed, um, they just did it full force the best they could, and they were excellent at how they worked. Pioneers continue their season with the Sacred Heart Invitational this weekend. Pioneers will look to continue their winning ways this season. Coach Majin, thanks so much for joining me. Best of luck in the rest of your season. Thanks for having me.